Fantasy football is back. Let's hit some DFS. DFS, of course, a huge part of the game. Uh, I'm so excited to do it, and I love you all so much. Then I was in traffic for 97 hours yesterday in Los Angeles. I decided to put together some top value players for this weekend in Daily Fantasy. I'm pretty good at this, so pay attention. Jalen Hurts. He was a top 10 fantasy quarterback last year. You cannot overstate what he can do with his legs. He led all quarterbacks with 10 rushing touchdowns, double-digit rushing touchdowns. Boom, sign me up. Get him in your lineup. He had 784 yards on the ground. you got to put him in up against the Lions defense. It is an absolute no-brainer. Next up, Saquon Barkley. People don't want to trust him. I trust him implicitly, all right? I love the value for what we know that the ceiling can be. Word from Giants camp, by the way, all training camp, is that he looks as good as he ever has. So remember, in the one healthy season he ever had, what did he have, over 2,000 yards uh, total and 15 touchdowns, and he is so dangerous as a receiver out the backfield as well. And you have a rebuilt offensive line, and nobody's talking about the fact that you have Brian Dable. He's calling the shots, so I'm very excited to see how he sort of uses him and cooks him up all over the field. This weekend, it is the Dolphins, and I like to snag him now while the price is low, and I would maybe go get him if somebody's saying, why don't I draft him in my season long? And you say, bro. Let me take you off, take him off your hands, because I actually think he'll be a lot better than people think. Uh, Brandon Cooks, I'll give you a wide receiver here. It might be, I don't know if it's boring or what it is, and I know he moves teams a lot, so there might be some like fantasy trust issues there, but one thing you can always bank on is Brandon Cooks being productive. No matter what team he's ever been on or who's getting him the rock, uh, he is always getting his 1,000 yards. He's consistently overlooked, and I know that matters for season long, specifically for daily, though. The Colts defense is tough, but it is uh, one full game that he played in Indy with Davis Mills at quarterback last year, and in that game, racked up nine catches for 89 yards. He was targeted. 13 times. All right, Kyle Pitts, lastly, he put up over 1,000 yards last year and silently, like nobody cares or is talking about it. I don't know why, but showing off that talent, uh, I think it's going to pay off. He was obviously drafted really highly as a tight end, uh, but he only scored one touchdown. That's the problem. That's why people aren't loving him as much. That's going to change. He's super athletic, his size, all of that. He's also said to be the number one target. It's Marcus Mariota up first in this offense with Calvin Ridley uh, on the shelf. So I think we're going to see him sort of be the star and start off his sophomore season up against the Saints with a bang. There you have it. Those are my daily values. I hope we have like a, a board. Uh, we should have like, this is what we should do. We should have them written out or I could have like a, a board and show you guys what your picks are here. So let me just recap them. Jalen Hurts, Saquon Barkley, Brandon Cooks, and Kyle Pitts for this one. All right, and you can use those picks when you play on FanDuel's $3 million NFL Sunday Million Contest. $4 to enter, $1 million goes to first place, a total of $3 million in prizes, I do believe, which is absolutely insane. So go ahead, use my picks, yell at me if they don't work out. Sorry, but if you win, then buy me a car, because I need one. Uh, you can get in on this weekend's big college football action by playing the Saturday Slice Challenge, apparently. We'll get to that at some point. I'm not sure why. What I'm reading here, but it's sponsored by DiGiorno, and you can enter the free Daily Fantasy Challenge for a share of $10,000 prize pool. We'll get to that in a bit.